Hello and uh, welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now today we're going to um, do another unboxing video and we've, and we've had a few of these in before but um, this is our first opportunity to actually open the new uh, Reef Player 1. Uh, this is the, the matte version with the new BLT belt. Um, they've been in very short supply for a while so we've, you know, like I said, this is the first opportunity we've, we've had to actually open one uh, as a display, so a dem demonstrator. So we're going to go through that and show how to set up. Um, yeah, exciting times. Okay, so here we go. Um, clipped at this side, just open up this side, remove the clips. Um, I always take these out because they're really sharp, so if you're pulling the equipment out, I mean, catching that on, on the lid or whatever is uh, would be a nightmare. So, and, and they're actually quite sharp and cut yourself, really, cut yourself really easy on these, so I tend to take those out. Um, right, so let's have a look. Way around, do we? Okay, I tend to find where the foot is and just pull that way. Put that there. Like a bit of little, uh, advertising material for um, the brilliant Riga IO amplifier, which suits this really well. That's one side. So I'm just I've got the lid. But that's one side for now. This piece we've got in, in the middle of there, that's the, the weight for the arm. So put this one side, that's really important. Put that to one side. Don't need this. And there we've got that's the power supply for the turntable. Now I'll leave that in there because this is because this is a demonstration, I tend to leave the original power supply in the box. So um, what's it just to show you what's inside there? This is one of our demonstrator one. There's your power supply, so that plugs in the wall and this plugs into the back of the turntable. Right, some wrap. The whole idea of playing a one is that it's completely plug and play. Yeah, sorry about that, bit of a quick edit because somebody came, came into the shop. Um, it's been busy today actually, it's uh, been really busy today. Okay, move these out of the way. Right, so yeah, the, the whole point of playing a one. Um, is it a plug and play turntable really? A lot of the when you get into the more sort of audiophile type record decks, there's a lot of setting up, there's lots of calibration of the tone arm and that sort of thing. And um, for most people who aren't dealing with that all the time, it's not a main hobby for them. It's um, it's a bit overcomplicated, really, I suppose. It's uh, so Riga have brought out the, the P1, uh, so to be as simple as possible. So you take the bag out out here. Um, the idea being that you can actually just unwrap it, put it together and it goes and there's no there's no setting up. You don't really need any any turntable knowledge to uh, to get it going, so which hopefully I'll have to show you. Right, so as it comes as it comes now. Um little protective card on there which gives you a sort of uh, brief instructions as to how to put it together. Um, you know, I've never actually looked at one of these. Oh, it's in French as well. Yeah. So yeah, no way to put the weight and you know everything else. So the instructions are on there anyway. Underneath the platter, a little packing piece. Just take that out. Make sure that's nice and free. Put the platter back on. Right, obviously we'd be normally setting this up on on a table or whatever. Um, I'm just going to do it on on the floor here, just to, for ease of ease of filming really. Uh, what I tend to do before I do much else, I, probably what I tend to do is take this off um, to plug in the power supply because this is actually quite fiddly if you, you need to tip the deck up to be able to see what you're doing. There's a, you can see it, there's, that's the way you plug it into. So I tend to do this first, get that nice firmly plugged in. I uh, wouldn't plug into the wall just yet. That's your cable to go into the amplifier. So now we're, we're connected up, you can have it on the table. I've already managed to get a bit of dust on it. Um, so you replace the platter. Like that. Now the tone arm's got a bit of tape on it. Let's just remove the tape. And now the only bit of actual setup involved is the counterweight. Now normally on most record players, the counterweight would need to be calibrated. You'd need to 
set the weight to the correct amount. And usually you'll push it to a certain point, make the arm float, set the calibration. Not on a planar one. All you do with a planar one is you put the weight onto the arm, and this is a bit of a see. There's a bit of a lug there. You just push it all the way until it meets up there. So now that's actually now set up. Apart from, you can probably can't see it on there, but on the on the on the cartridge, there's a protector on the cartridge. So you just pull the little cover off, and now you're ready to go. Um, to use planar one, it's very very straightforward. Uh, R switch under here, which starts, which would then start the motor going if it was plugged into the wall, which it isn't. Um, and you make sure your levers at the top move across, then lower onto your record, and that's it. There's no more to it really. It's very very straightforward turntable. Typical rig, nothing to go wrong. There's no automatic mechanisms, no superfluous sort of features on them. It's just what you need to get the best out of a record and you know, to have a reliable turntable that will last, last you for years. And readers really do last for years. Um, I've forgotten to do the lid. Again, I tend to not put these on the demonstrators, but just to show. There's uh, two little hinges there, just slot in. Now they're very simple hinges, there's no springing in them, it's not so when the lid is up, you have to push it all the way to the back. If it goes at this point, it'll let go and just drop. So there's no the hinges aren't sprung on, on Rigas. Um, it's partly because it's a better isolator and partly it, it makes it quite much easier if you just want to take the lid off. So a lot of people prefer to run the, the turntables without a lid. Uh, either way for me, really, I don't mind. I think the other lid will keep the dust off the wreck while it's playing. Um, but also, the, I suppose the, the, other, the other thing is that you will actually pick up a bit of vibration. But like I say, it's quite well isolated. I mean, a lot of the, the turntables with sprung hinges um, do pick up more vibration than the Rigas do through the lid. So there you go. That's a Riga Planer one. Um, hope that was a, a helpful. If you need any more sort of help with that, with setting your, your decks up, or uh, or even buying a Riga, that'd be quite good. If you give, if you want to buy a Riga, give us a call. Um, yeah, give any anything at all. Really, give us a ring. Give us a ring. I'll put the number on along the bottom, uh, or after, actually, I'll probably put, I'll stick it on at the end. Uh, number and the um, email address. Uh, it's a bit of a rushed video. This one, you can probably t <laughs> probably tell it's a bit of a rushed video um, because I basically I've sold our demonstrator. This is replacing the demonstrator, and I need this packaging to send the old one out because it isn't quite complete. Somewhere along the line, I've lost some of the packaging, so. Uh, I'm using this packaging to set, send out a customer's um, customer's order. He's actually ordered the old online. He's ordered our old demonstrator, so uh, that, uh, that needs to go out today. So, hence me sort of rushing through it a little bit. But I just thought I'd show how to, to set up a planer on. Um, just talking about the finish, just quickly. Uh, this is the, the the matte finish version. Into like, I've only just really looked. I can't really tell <laughs> tell much difference. The high gloss that they did before wasn't particularly high gloss so uh, this matte finish is quite smart actually look actually prefer, looking at it now I prefer it to the, to the gloss it's got a bit more sort of class about it so yeah lovely um hope you enjoyed the video um give us a like um don't forget to subscribe then you can see even more madness on <laughs> on youtube from cheshire audio um yeah thank you very much see you soon